Democrats taking a cue from the presidential campaign and are now questioning Republican Linda McMahon for not yet releasing her income tax returns. Well, the primary elections are four weeks away now, but the state Democratic Party is already targeting McMahon as their ultimate U.S. Senate opponent. Our chief political correspondent Mark Davis live with more on that tax return flap. Mark? Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, Linda McMahon is facing a fair amount of flack tonight for not releasing her income tax returns from both the Democrats and her Republican opponent. According to the last public polling, former WWE CEO Linda McMahon is way ahead of her opponent in next month's Republican primary and is clearly in first place among all candidates in the ability to spend vast amounts of money on her campaign. But among both Republican and Democratic candidates, she is dead last in one area. She is the only one that has yet to release her tax returns. All others released them months ago. She has said she will. Today, the state Democratic Party launched a website questioning why it's taking so long and noting that the principal issue of her campaign has been about cutting taxes for the middle class. It's quite clear that the Democrats believe McMahon will easily win her primary, so they intend to get as much mileage out of this as possible. Even Republican commentators have said that presidential candidate Mitt Romney is being damaged by his reluctance to release his tax returns, although even he has released one year. I'm wondering, is with Romney, does she have some offshore accounts, or is she getting, paying less taxes than her employees? And those are the questions that I think people have the right to know before they decide who they're going to be voting for. McMahon's Republican primary opponent, former Congressman Chris Shays, is also asking what McMahon is hiding. His campaign says it reflects a pattern of secrecy as McMahon refuses to meet with newspaper editorial boards and is limiting the number of face-to-face -face debates. McMahon's campaign manager tells News 8 that her tax return will be released as soon as it's done. But because of a filing extension, they may not be until October the 15th. Unlike all the other candidates, McMahon is one of the wealthiest people in the state, and those kinds of returns can be super complicated. Having a little deja vu here, here's why. When the Democrats had a multimillionaire candidate, Ned Lamont, running for the U.S. Senate, this was also an issue until he finally released an income tax return. Both McMahon and Chris Shays will face off in their final face-to-face -face debate before the primary tonight in West Hartford. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.